this is another video on uh, navigation on autopilot and now whenever I'm applying uh, those uh, uh, full self-driving uh, options uh, so it's showing me this lane now and it's showing that it's navigation on autopilot and now it's suggesting me whenever the system thinks that I have to change the lane tells me to change the lane so now it's saying tap channel so I'm changing the lane as you can see it's changing the lane over here and let's see how the system is working so I guess the more I'm driving the more options are coming on autopilot it depends how much you are driving and Mostly my drives are from my home to office and then I have a couple different offices in different cities. So I do travel a lot and so my 99% of my drives were on autopilot. Even in, in the city I was using autopilot. I was all the time, I was very cautious about uh, the system I was keeping on my hands on, on the steering wheel um, full self driving let's see how it uh, handles now so because mostly my trips are on autopilot but the visuals are pretty much same only difference for the visuals I sorry uh, the only difference uh, I just saw on my visuals is uh, this this line and then this setting over here that's it uh, everything else is pretty much the same so the more you drive maybe you'll see more visuals or maybe another software update comes in and then you feel you know uh, you see all those different visuals but overall um, it stayed the same I've seen in couple different uh, videos uh, this area is pretty much this big so while you're driving so it shows you more visuals but on my end it's showing only uh, the same visuals uh, as long as uh, it's, it's working so it kept me in the same lane um, so it's 55 keeping me on 55 it goes so the only thing I have noticed is um, when you reach inner city and then navigation on autopilot was cancelled early mornings I'm um, still trying to wake up, I guess. About this is very impressive. Uh, when I bought this car two, three years ago, uh, I've seen so many improvements. The only thing I just um, I had a couple issues in three years where my headlight, uh, the right side, no, passenger side, yeah, passenger side, the headlight was having some issue. So I changed that light and I paid almost 11 or $1,200, something like that. 
and putting uh, the lever and that was expensive I thought maybe it's a bulb we can change the bulb but now you have to change the whole assembly if something happens then after a few months later uh, another one uh, on, on my driver's side uh, bulb they had an issue and um, I bought one on eBay for 250 something and I paid $50 to someone and got that one done that's working perfectly fine so I guess if you are if something happens uh, to your car uh, all you have to do is uh, buy the uh, it depends uh, which part you are buying because sometimes the lights are not expensive or so. so you can buy through Amazon or eBay I bought it from eBay and within $300 I was able to get this thing done otherwise I was paying again $1200 to Tesla for to install uh, the headlight So then I had an issue on my uh, front upper arm which was making squeezing noise and I just called Tesla to schedule an appointment and uh, they told me it will they'll charge me $970 for the whole thing and um, I bought I bought uh, another one uh, from from Tesla so uh, in Canada so that that part was here and I paid $200 for the part and I paid $100 for installation so within $300 I was able to get the thing done and then after like three four months later the right front upper arm controller was making that same noise and it uh, this one is almost like 138,000 miles now so then um, I had to change that one with the same price so pretty much I changed both with within $600 and Tesla was charging me 970 for one so the maintenance cost is still very expensive if you go to Tesla but if you are going um, to some local shop and then it's uh, then it's not it's not that hard uh, pricing so that's the uh, that's the update and as you can see uh, that's uh, I just reached in the inner city uh, traffic so the autopilot is still on and navigation on autopilot just stopped as you can see these two solid lines I have to take right here but it will stop here auto lane change unavailable I just got a message so I have to turn right here manually so that's it I guess the lane change is working fine as you hit the city in inner city your full self driving capabilities are very limited and um, it does not change lanes um, it does not change the exit where when you are taking exit on the taking right turn or left turn it does not take right or left turn so here you go and our office building is here 
and I'll see you next in the next video.